Hello my friend, Evan Scoresby here with HowToWithEvan.com and I know what you're thinking, that is a really big picture of my bald, beautiful face, you know, but it won't be up there too long. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to choose a domain name and give you the absolute best place to buy this domain name online. Uh, but first, before we get into that, I want to just quickly go over what is a domain name. Believe it or not, there are people out there, and you might be one of those people who just don't know what a domain name is, and you're learning this for the first time. Or you might be watching this, and you obviously know what a domain name is, uh, but you're still interested in learning about this information. But basically, a domain name is part of your website address. And just like you have a physical address for people to find you at home, for you to receive mail at home and that sort of thing, if you want a presence online, and you want it like some type of home or hub on the internet, you need to get a domain name, which is part of your website address. And so there's different components of having a website address. And I wanted to just go over those real quick so you understand these different components so you can just make it all make sense to you. Okay, so here's an example of a website address. This is my website address, howtowithevan.com, right? So there's the different components that make up this address is first the name. How to with Evan, that's the name of the address. And then the extension is a .com. This could come in many different extensions like a .net, a .org, you know, .biz, you know, lots of different extensions out there. But .com is the most popular. And both of these components make up the domain name. So when people ask you what your domain name is, that's what it's referring to, the name and the extension. Uh, but it also could include uh, the prefix, which is the subdomain, right? So we have a subdomain here, www. This can be replaced with other words, which we'll show an example of that here in just a minute. But www is the subdomain, and then we have the prefix or the protocol, which is HTTP, which could also be HTTPS, you know, if it's a secured website. So ultimately, this makes up your home and hub on the internet, your website address. And so you might be asking the question, why do I need one? Uh, well, again, if you're here looking into getting a domain name and finding out more about what a domain name is and how to choose a domain name, you probably have some purpose in mind of getting that domain name. It could be for an e-commerce store or a personal website or a blog, product review site, whatever it is, you need a domain name in order to have that presence online and to have that home or hub on the internet, right? And so there's lots of different types of domain names that you can get. Uh, one very popular type and one personally what I recommend if you're getting a domain name for the first time is your own name, yourname.com or a variation to it like the one I have here, How To With Evan. It has my name in it, but it has, a, has some information in there that kind of tells you what that website is all about, right? So you can get a personalized domain name. You can get a domain name that's maybe after a business that you're setting up. It could be after a niche that you're in that you want to promote. Maybe you're in the health and fitness niche, or maybe you're in the e-business, e-commerce niche, you know, so you're setting up a domain name for that purpose. And so those are the different types of domains. I wouldn't recommend getting a domain name that is specific to a product because you're really limited on what you can do with that domain. So you want one where you're going to be able to use uh, for lots of different things, okay? And so uh, let's get into how to choose a domain name, right? And a lot of people don't think about this, uh, and sometimes they make some really big mistakes, and it's a good idea to go over some of these tips and guidelines so when you are searching for and buying your own domain name, that you follow these guidelines and these tips uh, just to make it as professional and easy as possible. So, but my again, my number one recommendation is to get yourname.com, right? So if you don't have yourname.com, so if your name is Bob Smith, <laughs> go see if bobsmith.com is available. And uh, you want to get yourname.com in addition to any other name that you are wanting to get for whatever purpose, right? Uh, but that brings us to the next tip is you want to try and use a .com extension where possible, okay? Like I said, said earlier, 
you could get like a .net or a .biz or a .org, you know, lots of different uh, extensions out there. But .com is the, is the primary one that most people would automatically go to. So if you are giving people your website address and I give them like howtowithevan.org, you know, they might remember how to with Evan and then just automatically put in the .com, right? Uh, that could go to somebody else's website if you are getting a different extension, okay? So always get a .com extension where possible, which means you might have to search and for and try different ways to find that perfect domain name. Might take some time, you know, but uh, it's worth it. You want to take your time to make sure you get the best domain possible. Uh, with that in mind, you want to think about making it short and sweet. You don't want a big domain name that just goes on forever, right? You want it short and sweet and easy to spell, easy to remember, right? Especially if you're promoting it out there and audibly giving that information to somebody else. You want to have it easy to spell, easy to remember, and you don't want to complicate things. So you don't want to use any special characters. Uh, specifically hyphens. Okay, try to not to use hyphens in your domain name. It just makes things confusing and it's hard to communicate that to other people. And then also don't use any uh, numbers. Okay, so no numbers. Uh, don't use like the number four, the number two, your favorite number out there. Try to not to use any numbers because that can be confusing as well. And then also uh, try not to use any spammy type of keywords. Right, so uh, having a spammy type of keyword in your domain name will do just that. It'll appear spammy to people, okay? <laughs> so hopefully these guidelines and tips will help you as you're searching for and finding your perfect domain name. And so we're going to get into that here in just a minute. And so there is the best place to buy a domain name, okay? So there's actually hundreds of different places out there where you can buy domain names online. And I've actually used a lot of them. You know, but the one I use now, in my opinion, is the best out there. And you might be asking yourself, why is this one the best? And I'll tell you, these are some of my reasons uh, that I have found that this place is the best to buy a domain name. Uh, their website is really easy to use. I love their interface. I interface. It's not complicated at all. And it doesn't change a lot. You can, you know, sometimes... Uh, you know, websites out there, they're always making changes and moving things around. So just when you get comfortable with how to use their site, they make a change. This site doesn't actually make a lot of changes and it's, you know, stays the same for the most part. And they go by the principle, if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? Uh, and then it's uh, inexpensive. So if you're getting started for the first time, you know, you want to keep your costs down. The first domain that you get on this website is only a dollar plus some tax for the first year. And included with that $1, you get what's called free private registration. Now, if you were to get a domain name on other websites, popular websites like GoDaddy or Namecheap, and if you were to get private registration, it would cost you an additional eight or nine dollars or more to secure, or not secure, but to uh, pr uh, privatize your domain name, which means uh, your personal information wouldn't be made available to the public. So if you don't get private registration, your name, your email address, your phone number is going to be out there for people to scrape and use and you're going to start getting all of these solicitations and emails uh, clogging up your inbox. Okay, So regardless of where you buy your domain name, you always want to get private registration. With the place I'm about to refer you to, it's included for free with every domain name which helps save you money. And then speaking of free, they also give you a free custom email address. Again, on most other domain name registrars out there, this costs additional money, up to $5 a month extra to get a custom domain name. So with this service, I'm, they give you a free basic email address that you can use for your business and part of your domain name. So for example, I have that howtowithevan.com. I have a custom email address to go along with that domain, which is evan at howtowithevan.com. Okay. All right, another freebie that they give you is what's called a free SSL. This is a secure socket layer. Okay. 
And so this just protects your website and encrypts it basically. And so it just adds a little bit of credibility and confidence to people who may visit your site that shows that it's secure. All right, so the best place to buy a domain name is da -da 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 -da, one and one Ionis. Okay, this is a, a website that I have uh, discovered over the last couple of years. It's where I've transferred all of my domain names now because I love their service so much. It's so easy to use, saving a lot of money from all those private registrations and free email addresses that I get with each domain. And so if you want to get your own domain name from Ionis, just go to this website. It's ionis.howtowithevan.com. And you can see I replaced that www. You know, this is the subdomain of a domain name, right? So ionis.howtowithevan.com will take you to their website so you can search for and find that perfect domain name. And so just for full disclosure though, this is my affiliate link. And so if you go to that website by clicking in the link, uh, be clicking the link in the description below this video, uh, it will take you to their website. If you make a purchase, I'll probably earn a small commission for that. If you don't like that, you can just go directly to their website and get the domain name if you'd like. You know, but hopefully I've provided you some value and information that you won't care and you want to pay it forward. So just go ahead and click the link in the description below and that will take you to the website to search for and find your domain name. But I actually wanted to go there myself and show you uh, how to buy a domain name. Okay, And so let's go to their website. Let me pull up Google here. Okay. So where do you want to do in, you want to go to Google and then you just want to go to this website again, ionis.howtowithevan.com. Okay. Go directly to their website. Okay. So when you come to their website like this, it'll most likely look like this, but it's very possible that it might look a little bit different. They do change the homepage every once in a while. But the one thing that will always be constant is they'll have a search bar here that says find your domain. And so this is where you search for and find the domain name that you want to purchase. Okay. And so I already have one in mind. My wife wants me to purchase a domain name after her name for her because she has some plans on what she wants to do for her presence on the internet. So all you have to do is type out your name that you want. Okay and also the extension. And so you wanna keep it all lowercase and no spaces and only include the domain name only, again, which is just the name and the .com, the extension at the end, okay? Do not put any spaces in there. So after you put in what you are searching for, click on check and this will tell you if it's available or not. And so this does tell me that it is available because there's a green check mark there. It says it's an introductory offer. $1 for the first year, then $15 a year after that, okay? So IONS is gonna probably try and get you to buy additional domain names that are related in other services. You don't need to do that. You can if you want to, but you don't need to. Um, so just get the domain name only for now. You can always come back and get these other stuff later if you want. So I'm gonna come down here and just click on the blue continue to go to the next screen. This will kind of go, this will go to your shopping cart, and so it'll just confirm your information so far. This will be a good time to verify the domain name and make sure you have the correct spelling, okay? <laughs> and I tell you that because it's happened before, right? Make sure you have spelled it right so you don't have to go back and redo it again. But it should say a dollar for the first year, has your free private registration. So we're just going to come down here and click continue. So at this point, this is where you choose an option to buy. So you can continue to the checkout and set up an account. That's what I would recommend that you do. Uh, or you could check out with PayPal if you want to. Or if you already have an account with Ionis, you can click on sign in. So this is as far as I'm going to get to in the video because I already have an account. So I'm just going to sign in and uh, order it under my account. But for you, if you're brand new to Ionis, I recommend going to the continue to checkout and it will guide you through a process to uh, create your account, okay? And so uh, I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back after I've purchased the domain name and we'll show you what happens next. 
All right, I am back and you can see that I'm on the confirmation page. So I went through and ordered the domain name and it says thank you for your order. And it will probably have some information here about the next steps. And so you'll probably receive some emails for your order confirmation and other important information that you'll need. And so whatever email address that you used when you process the order, you want to go and check that inbox and just confirm the information, okay? And so here's an example of what these emails will look like. You'll probably get about five different emails from IONIS Customer Service. This is for another domain that I got previously, um, but it shows the same information, okay? You'll have one that says your order confirmation, your contract information, that it's uh, successfully registered. But the one that I wanted to uh, confirm is this one right here is please confirm your email address, okay? So you need to make sure you find that, that email from IONIS Customer Service and confirm your email address uh, and click that button. Because if you don't, they're going to disable your domain name after a couple of weeks. Okay, so that's super, super important. Uh, make sure that you confirm your email address. Okay, but uh, once you get those confirmations, you're, you're good to go. You're going to be able to start using your domain name. And in another video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your free business email address. I'll actually have a, a link to it here, up here on the video somewhere. <laughs> so on the, right, on, on the video here somewhere, you'll find a link to uh, show you how to go and set up your business email address. Okay, But I hope this information was helpful. And uh, just, again, click the link in the description below to uh, access the IONIS website. And you'll be able to get it, your domain name for only a dollar. And feel free to leave a comment, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. And hope you make it a great day. And never, ever give up on your dreams. Bye for now.